Okay, so I've got my job sheet printed out. This is kind of what we're going for here. Uh, just a little toolpath uh, display board to show what each bit will do. Uh, I've got a few of them already knocked out there. And as you can see, uh, the different toolpaths, I've got different fonts. Uh, down here, some texture options. Uh, we did this. Uh, this is done with a, um, a, a 60 degree V bit and a uh, 16th inch tapered ball nose, 8th inch tapered ball nose, quarter inch ball nose. And then I've got two different depths here, and a 16th of an inch depth and an 8th of an inch depth. Uh, over here you can see we've got the same cutter uh, at 8th, uh, 16th, and quarter inch depth. So just creating a little tool board to showcase what it'll do. Uh, but let me show you what this thing does. How the, the digital woodcarver 1824 functions is it's all controlled over here from this uh, motion control TNG CNC software. And uh, so once you've designed your piece, and I did this in the vector uh, uh, software, I think it did the um, uh, VCarve Pro is what I designed it in. And so then once you get it designed and you've got your, your file saved, uh, using the if you're going to use the digital woodcarver, you want to save that under the, the tap file, uh, and all that will be explained if you have your machine. Anyway, so to load it, you come right over here to File, and then we're going to Import G-Code. And uh, on my particular one, I'm in the file I need, but I need to go down to number 22. So 22 there, we're just going to load that. And there's the G-Code file. It shows you on the uh, page, on the screen, uh, what that toolpath's going to do. And that's just a simple straight cut. And that's all I'm going to need for that bit. So it should take, you know, about five seconds. Anyway, uh, so once you get it all loaded, you've uh, already Z zeroed out your X, Y, and your Z, which I have done. Uh, so that is totally ready to go. And on this cut, I'm using a quarter inch up cut spiral and end mill um, and we'll go from there so uh, at that point you're ready to load everything is zeroed out loaded um, there's nothing in the way at that point you just click the start button looks like a little play icon but it is start so click start <laughs> And there you go. So that is uh, operating the Digital Woodcarver 1824 uh, using the motion control CNC TNG software, excuse me, TNG CNC software, a lot of initials there. Uh, but that works great. Um, we finished the board and uh, we'll get a final uh, look at it later. All right, there's the Digital Woodcarver 1824, and uh, you can see there the final result. Got your different fonts and toolpaths. Other than my boo boo right there. So, what happens, kids, when you don't zero out your Z properly on both your machine and your workpiece? So, the different textures turned out pretty well. Allows you to really see what a V bit texture toolpath looks like at a 16th and an 8th what that 16th ball nose looks like at a 16th and an 8th, the 8th inch ball nose at a 16th and an 8th, and then the quarter inch ball nose at a 16th and an 8th. And of course, here's your depth of cut with 16th, 16th inch, 8th inch and quarter, all the way up, same with the respective bits. And then there's a quarter inch up cut and a quarter inch down cut. You can see some of the splintering that occurred uh, right there with the up cut. Uh, that's why it's important to know what you're doing. Uh, the down cut, it didn't produce any of that up cut uh, splintering. So uh, just keep that in mind, kids, when you're working with your machines and picking out your tools, what you're going to run for your tool paths makes all the difference in the world. But you can see with just a simple V carved tool path, uh, it was able to do a really nice job on all that different font. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, learned a little bit from it. And I think the Toolpath Display Board is going to be a, a little nice feature uh, to help others learn a little bit. So, all right, I'm out.